Hi, I thought I'd just do a quick behind the scenes video here showing you uh, something to do with my video editing process and a, a change that I've uh, made of late, not to every video, but I, you know, uh, videos that I deem like are important enough or I'm just <laughs> bored and want to just spend a bit more time putting some spit and polish uh, on a particular uh, video. And I think I might be seeing the results in a YouTube stat, which I'll show you shortly on this. Now, uh, so let's take a look at video editing of a recent video. Now this is, by the way, not something, the results of this may not be something that you've, as the viewer, have particularly noticed. But then, then again, please leave it in the comments down below if you have sort of noticed, oh yeah, your videos have gotten maybe a bit better lately and I'm not quite sure why. Let me uh, explain what's going on here. Now I'm using, uh, so this is a look at my uh, editing timeline for my Nate latest uh, Synology NAS dumpster uh, diving video, because this is a decent example of this. Now, uh, yes, I'm using, for those who don't know, I use uh, Vegas video editing software, was formerly Sony Vegas, now it's like Magix Vegas or whatever it is, and I'm using the older version 16, because I have 17, but it's gave me some issues, so I just went back to 16 and just got on with the job. Anyway, so don't get into the flame wars down below about video editing software. I've tried them all and look, this is just the lesser of many evils for me. Okay, I just <laughs> don't go into it. Now, uh, the reason I've got my uh, editing, um, the, my talking head up the top here rather than in the corner because I want to uh, show you my timeline down here. So this is the, so this is video 1288 up here and this is my uh, timeline and you'll notice that the video is 20, almost bang on, 26 minutes long there, just before the outro. So 26 minutes, just keep that in mind. Now, for those who don't know, I shoot and have for the last decade, almost all of my videos, I shoot them in sequence. What that means is that I, when I get the idea for a video, I, you know, I set up whatever I need to on the bench and then I hit record, I start yapping away with two mouths usually, this is my brain, this is my mouth, often they're not connected. Anyway, I start yapping away behind the camera, but I shoot everything in sequence. So if I'm doing a teardown of a product, I'll shoot the intro, then I'll shoot, you know, opening the thing, and then, which I don't peek by the way, I actually open it and that's my first reaction is when I actually open the thing. And then I look at each little part and everything is shot in sequence. Why do I do that? It's because it makes my life editing videos much easier. And if you're a full-time YouTuber, like I am, video editing videos almost every day, edited like 1500 videos plus, more than that, probably like 2000 videos over the last, if you count all my channels and all the different content over the last uh, 10 years, that's a lot of videos to edit. And the last thing you wanna do is waste your life editing, but which is <laughs> ironically, I am wasting more time, but hopefully not wasting it. Hopefully I'm adding value to my videos for what we're going to talk about today. Anyway, a shooting sequence so I can simply take all the clips here, here are all the clips, uh, some I actually recorded like voiceovers uh, for, but let's just assume I did a video that just had bench camera work. It's all shot in sequence and they're like numbered C00001 through to, you know, a typical video. This one only had 30, right? It didn't have many uh, clips at all, but you know, a decent like 30, 40 minute, minute video, like a teardown or something like that might have upwards of 100 clips. Sometimes I'll even do more than 100, but they might have like 50 to 100 clips, you know, separate clips, because I just start and stop the camera. I don't just leave the camera running usually. I start and stop and, you know, oh, notice something else, turn it on, and I'll start yapping on about that. So all I do is just simply take all these and drop them into the timeline. So therefore, my project is almost complete. <laughs> my video editing is almost complete right at that point. It takes me a couple of minutes and it's almost done. Or then all I've got to do is then I go through and play my video straight like this. So you probably won't, you won't hear this. But anyway, I, I do all my video editing, by the way, uh, just as a little aside, uh, based on 
the audio level here. I don't do anything fancy. Yeah, occasionally I might go in here and like adjust the level of something like that if I was much closer to the mic and I was speaking loudly or, you know, something like that. But generally speaking, you'll notice that in this one, yeah, over here I've just uh, adjusted the level of some voiceover stuff and things like that. But apart from that, I don't do any audio processing or anything like that. I shoot audio in camera as you should be doing so I don't have to sync anything up. Anyway, I'm getting way off way off point of this video so and then I occasionally like add in overlays and you know uh, text overlays and uh, stuff like that uh, yep is that a text is that a text overlay there's a text overlay there you go and I'll just drop those in so really simple so all of my sequence my video editing's almost done for me because I shoot in sequence so if I have to take my macro lens off the my macro lens off the camera and I'll, I'll do that 10 times during a shoot if I'm doing a teardown I want to get close-ups I'll do that rather than have to try and figure out where like do all my macro shots later and then figure out where the uh, clips have to go in the timeline. Oh, you waste so much time doing that. Anyway, so my video edit is normally very quick and efficient. So I drop them all in and all I've got to do is then just trim the start and the end, uh, like the uh, silence. If you know, if you actually, if I drag that out there, right? I've got some, oh, that one's, did I? I might have actually continued talking there, but usually there'll be a bit of silence at the end of each clip and at the end of each clip. So I simply just trim that out manually. It's usually not this finicky, usually I'm zoomed in. Anyway, I just trim that out. I do that for every single uh, clip in here as I go through. And sometimes I, I'll remember what I said so I don't like have to listen to those particular parts. But you know, generally I'll, I'll listen to a good majority uh, of it and so I trim the start and the end of each clip and by the time I get to the end of it it's done so like a 26 minute video like this might take me I don't know 45 minutes to edit you know maybe an hour like on a bad day um, it, it doesn't take it depends how many overlays I got to do and got to go get images and do all sorts of stuff like that double check uh, things um, you know stuff like that but it generally doesn't take me too long to edit videos now as I said this is my first pass, okay? I, I actually saved this project 26 minutes. And here's the change, right? I could have just, and ordinarily in the past, I would have just done. Video finished, upload and be damned. And, you know, somebody will tell me within five minutes of uploading if I've you know, grossly goofed something. Usually I don't have to pull a video and re-edit very occasionally. That happens, very rare. Um, so I'll just fix it in a pinned comment or something if there's any... Uh, sort of issues like that. But anyway, that's once again beside the point. I'm yapping on, Dave. 26 minutes long. Now, the change I've made recently is I've gone, oh, I'm trying to shave time off. So if a, if an edit comes in at, say an edit came in at 22 minutes, right? My first pass, usually I only do what's called a, like a first pass edit. That's it. And let's say it came in at 22 minutes ago. Oh, damn. Could I get that under 20? Because when people go to YouTube and look at videos in the list, or look at, you know, they wake up and they want to watch some YouTube videos. So they look at all their list of, you know, all their favorite creators and things like that. And which ones do I want to watch? Oh, there's a new day video. Oh, but it's 20 something minutes. I've only got you know, uh, 15, I don't have 20 plus minutes. I've only got 10 plus minutes to watch a video, right? So, so it comes, it's a psychological thing. If you see, if you look at that timestamp, you may not even notice that you're doing that, but trust me, you are. You're looking at how long that video is. I guarantee you are, even subconsciously. And if you see it's 10 something minutes, one X something minutes, then your brain processes it, oh, it's a 10 minute class video. Or if it's 2x, 20x uh, minutes, if it's 20 plus minutes, your brain processes that as a longer video. So it makes, you know, it, it's valuable to be able to get, say, a 21 minute video down to 19 minutes and 58 seconds. So if you if you see one of my videos at 19 minutes and 55 seconds or something, you'll know why. It's because I was trying to trim as much as I could to get it under just under 20 minutes or just under 30 minutes or just under 40 minutes or something like that, or just under 10 minutes. But I haven't done a 10 minute video since the days of when 10 minute videos, I only had a 10 minute limit on YouTube and I had to do two part videos, part one, part two. Those were the days back when you were invited um, to be monetized. <laughs> that was a big deal. Anyway, now anyway, Tom, Dick and Harry gets it. Uh, unbelievable. When I was a boy, 
Anyway, so what I've been doing lately is once I've finished this first pass, and I would have normally just done and dusted, uploaded it, I'll go, right, I'll actually go through it again. So I'll go through from the start of the video, and I'll watch it, and I'll take out little ums and ahs, and it'll be more chopped up. So let me actually show you. So this is the first one I did, and I actually saved it as 1288 here. And then let me show you another one. Yep, here it is, 1288 final. So I actually, um, like label it something different so I have that back so if I goof up this version I can go back to the older project and you know either just release that or rework or whatever because you never know when you're going to screw the pooch so anyway so you'll fi see that this is the one that I finally uploaded you'll notice that it's 23 minutes and just over almost 23 and a half you know 23 minutes and 20 seconds or something like that so I've shaved like two and a half over two and a half minutes off this video that I wouldn't normally have done and yes this does take me another 20 odd minutes to go through um, and you'll notice that I have added a few more overlays and things like that that I didn't uh, add on the first one because I might have, you know, decided, oh, look, I'll just do a bit more research or pull up another data sheet or do a couple of inserts and actually actually correct it. You know, I realized, oh, that might be a JTAG header, for example, and things like that. So I just added uh, some extra uh, text and stuff there so and then i added a little bit of spit and polish like adding that mosfet uh things like that so i heard myself when i was listening to this again i heard myself say oh yeah look like a uh totem pole output so rather than just say it i thought oh look i'll go to the effort i'll go get a an, an image and i'll i'll put a red circle around the upper uh mosfet that i'm talking about and put some text in there it, it's really quick and easy to do that but it but it all adds up you know if you're doing a lot of spit and polish. Anyway, so go in and take out lots of ums and ahs. So you notice that maybe down in here, down in this section here, I'll have like, it'll be chopped up a lot, right? So my speech will be like chopped up. So I'm taking out little pauses, ums and ahs. Uh, maybe if I'm sort of, I don't repeat myself all that often these days. I know I've probably repeated myself in this video, guaranteed. But I'm not going to edit this one. It'll be a straight upload. Uh, and... I, yeah, I just like take out, like just add a little spit and polish, just taking out little arms and ahs, pauses, maybe a repeat, maybe a bit of redundant information, maybe a bit of waffle that I think's not really helping with the video. And this one, and by doing this second pass editing, I'm usually able to shave off, say a minute or maybe two minutes in a 25 to 30 minute video. And it may not sound like much, but as I said, if I can get it under, in this case, I didn't get it under the limit like under the 20 minute mark there's no way i was going to take 26 minute video and get it down to 20 un under 20 that would have been i would have had to lose some technical information from the video to actually do that and i don't like doing that um so i try and with the second pass editing not take out any technical information just make it a bit more tighter you know make it as tight as a nun's nasty and uh, so i hope and you probably don't notice this when you're actually watching the video but I think in a metric here, let me go have a look. Let's have a metric for, uh, no, this is the latest one. The audience uh, audience retention here. This is what we're interested in. And since I've been doing this lately, this second pass editing, I've noticed an increase in my audience retention time. So if you don't know what this is, um, all YouTubers get access to this. It's how long, how many viewers stick around and watch over your entire, in this case, this is the trolley wheel video. So this is a different one. I might show you the other one in a minute, the one we were talking about. But look, even at halfway through, right, it says average view duration, 13 minutes and 20 seconds of a 26 minute video. And that's quite common. Like my channel is no different to others. Longer videos, the average like maximum attention span on YouTube is like 11, 12 minutes tops. So if you make any videos longer than that, you're, you're never gonna get people watching. You know, but like a mailbag video, for example, I might get a longer audience retention time uh, for that because people know what they're, getting but for a technical sort of like tear down investigation video this is really good like halfway through i'm still getting 50 plus percent this is these are really good figures for any youtuber look even it it gets to 21 minutes before 50 percent have dropped off now these 
uh, figures aren't entirely accurate because people might pause the video, they might come back. It's, it doesn't mean people are just going, oh, I've had enough of that video and I'm gone. It means, oh, they might have had to go to the toilet. I don't know, they got interrupted by their cat or whatever and I, and they just stopped watching the video or they lost focus. Uh, you know, it, it's difficult to get metrics on that, but it, you know, it, it's a reasonable, uh, you can see differences um, in things. And I've noticed that this, um, on videos that I've done this second pass editing on, the audience retention is higher. So I'm wondering, you know, it, it, it could be completely off, but I'm, I could, you know, uh, what is it? Correlation does not equal causation. Uh, yes, uh, correlation does not equal causation, right? So just because they're correlated doesn't mean that the cause of the increased audience retention time, which is a good thing for the YouTube algorithm, by the way, the longer, the higher this figure is, the more YouTube's gonna recommend your video because YouTube's all about watch time these days. That's all it's about. Um, that's why, yeah, if you make short videos on YouTube, you are screwed. <laughs> Gone are the days of short viral videos. So I pity any uh, con content creator who spends two weeks making a really highly polished five or 10 minute video. Geez, that's that's really tough. Anyway, like, you know, the science videos and things like that, they've been hit hard. Anyway, the audience retention time. Yeah, it's, I think I, I've seen a difference, an increase in that, which is a good thing. Now we can go maybe over to the latest video here. Let's go, here it is. My uh, analytics. Here it is here. Audience retention time. Here you go. Once again, see, oh, this one, you know, it's a bit, it goes up here. Like it goes up to 70%. It's like, yeah, so it's, uh, these metrics are a bit how you're doing. But anyway, you know, look, look, and yeah, it's jumped back up here. Even at 60, 15 minutes, it's 60, you know, like, wow, it gets almost to the end of the video and half the people are still watching. That is like after 20 plus minutes. That is really good for YouTube. Trust me. And of course it drops off the end because I've got my outro there and uh, and stuff like that. And people know I just waffle on at the end and, you know, probably plug my library channel. You should subscribe on library. I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers. By the way, link down below. <laughs> so I might do another video. I might do a dedicated video on that today. Anyway, there you go. Um, so audience retention time, I think, has increased. So please let me know if you've noticed... Oh, so please let me know if you've noticed a difference in my videos lately and you weren't quite sure why. Um, do you appreciate the extra effort I put in? Because it, it, it doesn't quite double my editing time, but it means I have to go through at least those 20, you know, six minutes and watch that again and just take out the little arms and ahs. Yes, I could do it as a single pass, of course. I could uh, take more care and attention to doing it the first time, but I kind of... That's what I've been doing for a decade is that one pass edit. I'm so used to it and it just, it feels satisfying, right, oh, done, right, done. And then I'll go add the spit and polish. So that's that's just the way I prefer uh, to do it. So please let me know if that's, if you think that's uh, worth the effort and if you've noticed in the comments down below. Thanks, hope you found that interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and all that sort of jazz. Catch you next time.